In this video, we are going to talk about student groups in Infinite Campus. Creating student groups can help you view your gradebook, send messages, and even create group-specific assignments to specific cohort groups that you have designated in Infinite Campus. First, let's look at examples in Campus of how student groups can be used. Then I'll show you how to set up student groups similar to what you're going to see for this teacher. There are three main ways student groups can expedite your work and help you with organization. The first is viewing your gradebook. You can use a filter to view only specific cohorts that are listed in your gradebook. So currently, we can see this first period class. I'm going to go here to second period. That's a little bit bigger class. And then I can click on filter. And since this teacher has already set up some filters, I can select the class. And then I can select one of the cohorts that I would like to view. So I'm going to check cohort A, and then I'm going to hit apply. So you can see now my whole view of my gradebook is limited to only those cohort A students. I can tell that a filter has been applied by this blue dot, and I can go in at any time and either remove the filter by unchecking the box, or I can change it to view cohort B the following day. You can click back on filter and uncheck the class and uncheck all of the groups that you have checked and apply to completely remove the filter from your classes. So really it just limits the view of which students you have. So that if you had a cohort in your classroom sitting in front of you, you could view only their assignments so that you're not worried about all of these other students that you're not looking at at the time. You can also assign specific assignments to one of your student groups. So whenever you add an assignment, you may or may not have noticed this before, but over here on the right, you can see student group dropdown. So I'm going to give this assignment a name, and then I'm going to click on the student groups dropdown, and you can see there are his two cohorts that he has created. So I only want to assign this assignment to cohort A. We only had time that day to do this, or I want to give them some bonus points. So I'm going to add 100 total points. I'm going to save it and I'm going to show you what it looks like in my gradebook. Here is that assignment. I gave it a really lovely abbreviation here, but this is the one that I just added, and you can see that there are a lot of gray spaces. That is because since I only assigned it to my cohort A students, it automatically exempted all of my students that are not listed in cohort A. Now let's look at how to create your own student groups. On the left side, you'll click on student groups under the menu, and then you can see that this teacher has already added some student groups. He has a cohort A Tuesday group and then a cohort B Thursday group. I can click and see the membership of either of these cohorts simply by clicking on the blue hyperlink. You can also edit these cohorts after you have already set them up by clicking at the top where it says select a group. And I'm going to look at cohort A. And you can see over here on the right, these are the members of the group. I can remove someone or I can take someone from my class roster and add them to my group as well. You can also create a new student group by clicking the new button at the top, giving it a name, and then clicking the add button next to each student's name that you would like to add to that list. When you're finished, you'll click save and then you'll see that student group listed as well. To delete a group, you'll simply click at the top, choose the group, and then there's a delete button at the top as well. I hope you found this useful and are able to create some student groups in your Infinite Campus gradebooks so that you can make your workflow a lot easier.